The wolf is a beautiful and intelligent creature that is the largest member of the canid family. Wolves were once the most widely spread mammals on land, but today they occupy only about two-thirds of their former range worldwide. They are very attractive and active animals, and are very similar to dogs because it has been proven through DNA analysis that the wolf is the ancestor of the dog. There are some dogs that totally look like wolves, and it's hard to tell the difference between them. Wolves, coyotes, and domestic dogs are so close that all three can interbreed and produce fertile offspring like wolf dogs, koi wolves, and koi dogs. There are only seven types of wolves that exist in the world. Apart from these seven types, there is another fox-like wolf, which is neither a fox nor a wolf, and we will save that for the end. But first, here are the seven most beautiful wolf species in the world. Number seven, the Arctic wolf. The Arctic wolf is one of the most beautiful wolf species in the world. It is native to Queen Elizabeth Islands of Canada, from Melville Island to Ellesmore Island. The Arctic wolf is also known as the polar wolf or white wolf. As a result of wolf dog hybridization, a reduction in its size has been recorded. These attractive wolves are smaller than gray wolves. Wolves mostly migrate during the winter time when there is complete darkness, but the Arctic wolf movement is not quite clear. Their diet contains musk oxen, Arctic hares, lemmings, caribou, Arctic foxes, birds, and beetles. With the tail, they are about 1 to 1.8 meters in length and weigh about 70 kilograms. The greatest threat to them is thought to be climate change. Extreme changes in weather have made it difficult for Arctic wolves to find food and survive. Number six, the Ethiopian wolf. At number six on the list is the Ethiopian wolf, a pretty wolf that is a descendant of the gray wolf. It is the most endangered and one of the rarest of all the canids. They are known by many other names, such as Abyssinian wolf, Simeon jackal, Ethiopian Jackal, and Simeon Wolf. These appealing wolves have a longer muzzle, smaller teeth with comparatively long legs. The Ethiopian Wolf's body is reddish brown in color with white legs and has markings on its face. Ethiopian Wolves are carnivorous in nature, but sometimes it also eats eggs and goslings. These wolves defend their territories by staying in wolf packs. This beautiful species was first scientifically described by Edouard Rupel in 1835. It is closely related to the North American coyote in size and build. Their thick underfur protects them at temperatures as low as minus 15 degrees Celsius. Number five, the Himalayan wolf. Himalayan wolf is also a descendant of the gray wolf. They are light yellow-brown in color with a mix of gray. Many of them also have black or white along the chest and around its face. These alluring wolves are mostly found in Nepal, India, the Himalayas, Mongolia, and China. They mostly feed on small and medium-sized animals, such as rabbits and rodents. These wolves reach maturity at the age of two years. It is also an endangered species of wolf, and there are only about 350 Himalayan wolves left in the wild. Due to the small population, it moves in small packs, usually six to eight wolves. These wolves are very good looking and attractive. Number four, the Indian wolf. The Indian wolf is a charming small size wolf. It is reddish brown to grayish red in color with black hair on the back. Its underside is completely white, and they have paler limbs. The Indian wolf prefers to live in thorn forests, open grasslands, and scrublands. They are mostly found in Afghanistan, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Turkey, Syria, Israel, and Iran. 
Due to living in warmer conditions, the Indian wolf is different because they do not have the thick winter coats of most other wolves. These pretty wolves hunt during the night and are rarely known to howl. Indian wolves are carnivorous in nature and mostly eat rodents, antelopes, raccoons, and hares. They sometimes may also attack humans. Number three, the red wolf. Occupying position number three is the red wolf, a reddish tawny colored canine native to the southeastern United States. Scientifically, this beautiful wolf is known as Canis lupus rufus or Canis rufus. It is very similar to the eastern wolf of eastern Canada and is somewhat of a mix of gray wolf and coyote. Adult red wolves are about 136 to 160 centimeters in length and weigh 23 to 39 kilograms. The pelage of these wolves is more reddish and sparsely furred than the gray wolves. The color of its fur is tawny to grayish, having light markings around the lips and eyes. The diet of these lovely wolves consists of rabbits and rodents before their near extinction. Thankfully, they are today a restored species and mainly depend on white-tailed deer, raccoon, and rabbits. Red wolves live in close-knit packs and are social animals. Number two, the Eastern Wolf. The Eastern Wolf is a small to medium-sized beautiful wolf and it's in the number two position on our list. It has a reddish or light brown coat with long black hair. They are mostly found in the United States around Mississippi and Canada. These beautiful wolves are very loyal to each other. They are very active at nighttime. The Eastern Wolf mostly feeds on beaver, rodents, muskrat, moose, deer, and sometimes even black bears. The Eastern Wolf mostly eats meat the total population of these stunning wolves left in the wild is less than 500. These wolves are known worldwide for their beauty. The Eastern Wolf is also known as the Algonquin Wolf or the Eastern Timber Wolf. And number one, the Gray Wolf. The Gray Wolf tops our list of the most beautiful wolf species in the world. They are also known as the Timber Wolf and are beautiful large canines found in Eurasia and North America. They have a gray appearance with interspersed yellow and pepper-colored flecks that seep through from the base of their thick fur. Being carnivores, these stunning-looking wolves mostly depend on meat, and their prey includes moose, deer, caribou, elk, bison, and many other small animals. The gray wolf is also listed as an endangered species. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out our other amazing videos on our channel and give us a like if you've enjoyed this video so far. And now, let's talk about the manned wolf. The manned wolf is the largest canid of South America. It resembles the fox and the wolf, but is neither a fox nor a wolf. It does belong to the Canidae family of wolves, so you can say it's a cousin of wolves, foxes, and our lovely dogs. It is named such because of its thick black mane. Their adaptation of high spindly legs is because of the high grassy habitat where they live. The manned wolf is considered to be a vulnerable species. It communicates by odor marking, and they mark their territory with some extremely strong urine, which is why they are also known as skunk wolves. They also communicate by giving a loud call, which is known as roar barking.